So we're going to go into the woods and um, it's kind of becoming like a hidden place because all the bracken is starting to grow now. And we did so much work here over the early spring and now it's just, we're leaving it quite quiet most of the time now because I think there's three herons nesting in the high trees. Hmm. So much bird call. Bluebells are up. Last autumn they came, one mother hen came out with eight chicks in like the beginning of November. <laughs> eight chicks? It's freezing. <laughs> <laughs> Came out of the woods, and there they were. <laughs> the balls of fluff. <laughs> so there's a chick, there's a cockerel over there, and he is one of the chicks that hatched last autumn. And I've noticed that they he brings a couple of others, and they're often in here. And maybe where they were born, they kind of have a connection with that area. <laughs> so I think he's only got one hen, so he's probably a bit sad. You can really see them. Just leafing up beautifully. And so what are they even, called? They're called field maples. And even though we know there is a there's one deer getting in quite regularly, she's in here, but she's not eating any of the trees. So you know, she can jump really high. <laughs> <laughs> but these are really beautiful. There's about I don't know six or seven just around here. Yeah. We've had a Swiss volunteer here um, all through the COVID time, well, him and his partner, and he's a woodsman, and he's been in here with his chainsaw, and he's made us these benches so we can just sit and use It really is a, a whole other world back here. Yeah. They're, just, they're all leafing up, they're all really good ones. Thank you. The product of our compost toilets going to good use. Absolutely. Really fun community project. Clear those out. <laughs> and then we did a lot of work here um, all through the winter in the drainage because it was just a big, really swampy. And it's still really swampy, but we dug this channel, it's the main one, it's even got water in it and we haven't had rain for nearly six weeks now and there's some water in this now so it's really needed and it goes right down through the wood all the way to the sea. <laughs> 